Prevent EU conspiracy. UK dealt a strong blow to the EU when it passed seven new laws. Seven new pieces of legislation are being planned by ministers to make the most of the UK's freedom from the EU. At the state opening of Parliament, the Queen outlined a number of areas the government is planning to alter legislation following Brexit. The Queen's speech is the first since the UK left the EU in January 2020. Addressing MPs and peers in the House of Lords, Her Majesty explained the government's legislative program for the next 12 months. Work has been underway over the last year to build a reform program to provide new opportunities for growth, to slash bureaucracy, and bolster workers' rights and NMO welfare standards. Meanwhile, in the real world, these promises are worthless. Red tape has increased, not decreased, since Brexit. Manufacturers and exporters now need an additional set of approvals in order to sell their products in both the UK and EU, plus veterinary and SPS certificates. Free ports do not create jobs; they displace them from one place to another, from Huddersfield to Hartlepool, or from Dunstable to Dagenham. One group of workers benefits at the expense of the other group, and as Truss has just discovered, free ports represent an internal border within the UK. And as soon as goods leave the free port area, they become subject to either UK taxes or foreign tariffs—a catastrophic blunder that will cost the UK 35 billion pounds. Finally, not only has Brexit resulted in a huge increase in red tape for British exporters and importers, 20 billion pounds in additional costs to the UK taxpayer for 50,000 new custom officials and infrastructure, and the same for British industries. Brexit also adds hugely to the costs for the importers in the EU buying British goods, who now have to pay for customs clearances. Pay VAT upfront and pay for someone to manage the customs, certification, and import paperwork that did not exist before Brexit, or they can just cancel their orders from the UK and buy the products from elsewhere in the EU and not have any of those costs or hassles. While some Brexit legislation has been passed since leaving the bloc, including the EU trade deal, this is the first time plans have been formally set out. Addressing Parliament, the Queen said. My government's priority is to deliver a national recovery from the pandemic that makes the United Kingdom stronger, healthier, and more prosperous than before. Ministers have been eager to stress they intend to use the UK's freedom from Brussels rules to help with Britain's bounce back from the pandemic. Bureaucratic EU red tape will be scrapped, and new international markets for trade will be opened to help with economic recovery. What do you think about this issue? Let me know your opinion and let's discuss it. I will keep updating with the latest news in the next videos. Please subscribe to the channel so as not to miss it. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.